Hi and welcome back to a new lesson. I'm a bit annoyed today because uh, I just met a friend of mine. Actually, I avoid meeting her because she's posting all the time. So whenever I meet her, it's all about, hey, Rachna, you know, I did this and um, I went here and I bought this and now I can afford this. And it's always I can and I do. And she doesn't even care to listen to what I've got to say. Now, what kind of attitude is that? Yes, it's someone who loves boasting. Now, what is boasting? Boasting is when you are full of yourself and you're a little show off. You like to tell people all about yourself. I do this and I buy this and I go here. And, you know, you always want to make a point. You want to, uh, you know, probably you feel a little superior and you feel others are not as great as you are. And uh, yes, I do have a friend like this. So do you encounter people, um, you know, who like boasting maybe at work, they could be friends and sometimes they could be even a part of your extended family. So yes, um, well, it's a basic uh, trait of a person to talk about uh, himself all the time and likes to show off maybe because they're wealthy or maybe they are highly educated. So how do we describe such people? So that is what I'm going to tell you in today's lesson. Subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications. Don't miss any new lessons. Okay. Now, if I have a friend of mine, which I do, always says, okay, Rachna, you know, I go for shopping to the best malls and uh, I can afford, uh, you know, expensive brands all the time. And that's all the time. I mean, all the time, that's all that she says. Yeah. So I always tell my other friends, hey, Rachel is great boast, small roast. Now, great boast because she really keeps boasting and that's the only great thing she does all the time. Her boasting is a bit too great. I, I, I. Okay. Small roast. Um, actually, there's not much substance in her boasting. Okay. So, great boast, small roast. So, the actual substance or the actual thing that she's talking about is only this. In reality, is this. But her boasting is like this. Okay. So that is the time you say great boss, small rose. So these are people who exaggerate uh, what the reality is. Maybe they just want to uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, be the top one in the group or the most admired one or, you know, they want people to envy them. Okay. So there are people who exaggerate than the actual thing is. So, well, if you have a friend like that, you could always say, hey, she's just great both small roles. Okay. Now, the next phrase you could use is, it's harder to be poor without complaining than to be rich without boasting. Now, we have people who are from affluent families. That means uh, very wealthy, well off, financially well settled and can afford luxurious cars, luxurious, I mean, uh, you know, Oh, destination, world tours, and not everybody can, right? So uh, you say, it's harder to be poor. Now understand this phrase, it's harder to be poor without complaining, means to be poor and not complain is really hard, yes? So it is justified when poor people complain because they don't even meet their basic necessities, yes? But um, so here we say it's harder to be poor without complaining, Yes, so it is hard for a poor person not to complain than, okay, to be rich without boasting. So, well, it means that rich people boast all the time, right? Because they want to show off, they want to flaunt uh, what they afford or what they buy. Maybe the new uh, luxurious cars or they could afford a vacation. So, well, it is easy to be rich without, I mean, it's harder to be poor without complaining than to be rich without boasting. Yeah. So it's not really difficult for rich people to boast. That's what this means. So if when you have a friend or a colleague who's from an, a, a very affluent family and keeps boasting, this one is for him. Yes. Now, there are people who don't do much, okay, but uh, they keep on you know, uh, showing off like I did it, I did it. Now let's take example, um, 
at work. This happens mainly at work. You have your manager who sits doing nothing much except ordering around and demanding things out of subordinates or his team members. But uh, when the project or when the work is done, he takes all the credit, okay? And he says, see, this work and this project was done by me where his entire, and in reality, his entire team members worked on it, right? So he's someone who is a great, great poster, okay? Because he really boasts about um, his work and the project that he's done, or rather his team members have done, and a little doer. So yes, he's a little doer because he doesn't do much. So if you have a person who actually doesn't work and keeps boasting that he does, go ahead and use this phrase for him, right? Okay, the next one says, believe a boaster as you would a liar. Oops, so it's uh, believe a boaster as you would a liar. Now, why do we, uh, why do we kind of compare or rather relate a boaster to a liar? That's because, uh, do you believe people who lie? Of course not, you don't, because you know they are lying and they are not speaking the truth. So why would you believe someone like that? So if you don't believe a person who lies, yeah, you don't believe a person who boasts. So if you know someone is a boaster, again, it's his trait and he keeps saying, I did this and I do this. Believe a boaster as you would a liar, okay? So maybe you could just stand and say, yeah, really? Mm -hmm. Good. That's really nice to hear. Yes. So you just go with the flow because there's not much you could do. But in your mind, you could always uh, think of this phrase or you could use this phrase to describe someone who is uh, a boaster. Okay. So you could say, believe a boaster as you would a liar. Now imagine I'm talking with my friends and one of them is boasting. I told you I have a friend who boasts a lot. And another friend asked me, hey, Rachna, do you think what she's saying is true? What Rachel is saying is true? And I look at her and say, hmm, believe a boaster as you would a liar. What I'm trying to tell her that obviously you don't believe a liar, don't believe a boaster, right? The next one says, he makes idle boasting. Now, you know what's idle boasting? The thing that we say, your idle mind, that's like no purpose at all. Or you can say without any purpose. Now imagine someone has no reason to boast, but they just enjoy doing it because uh, maybe they feel they will be in the limelight of the group. They are the limelight of the group or their social, uh, you know, uh, kind of kitty group or social circle. And they just keep boasting. There is no purpose. And that is why we call it idle boasting. There is nothing to boast about. I mean, I mean, what's so great? Okay, if you can afford the best of diamonds, what's so great? If you have the best of a car, what's so great? So there is no purpose to the boasting. Again, they do it because they enjoy doing it. So he makes idle boasting. Well, this is like, this is something I'd use for Rachel because she makes idle boasting all the time I meet her, yeah? So without any purpose, but just go on and on, not a good thing. So if you know someone like that, use this phrase to describe the kind of boasting he does. Okay, the next one is, they can do least who boast the loudest. Okay, this is more of a quote actually. Um, you know, people who really work hard don't really boast because their work shows it, their work speaks. Uh, uh, you know, for itself. But someone who really doesn't work hard and again goes on, I do this and I can do this, okay? So for such people who actually really don't do or don't have the potential or the capability of doing something, they don't have the ability, you say they can do least. Least means less, okay? Least, minimum, who boasts the loudest, okay? So when you say the loudest means they make sure what they talk about falls on all ears, but actually in action in reality, they do the least. So you could say it's similar to great boasters, little doer. Yes, friends? So one who does the least, he does the least who boasts the loudest. Yes, and the last one is, it is one thing to boast, another to fight. 
you know, when we talk about fight here, we are not actually talking about going on a war or going onto the battlefield. We're talking about actually doing something. It could be work, it could uh, mean a project, a task, helping someone, anything, but actually doing the work, okay? Participating, initiating the work. So we say it is one thing to post, that is one thing, because posting is the easiest, it is free, okay, and you can do it all day long. So it is one thing to post, another to fight. So yes, for people who really don't take initiative or do work, I would use this for them because, yes, it is just simple and easy to post, but to actually, you know, go down or get to doing the work is a different thing altogether. So we say it as, it is one thing to boast, another to fight. Well friends, so these are the phrases you could use when you want to talk about people who boast. Right, there are various phrases you could use, go ahead and use them. I'll be back soon with a new lesson, till then take care and bye.